consistent with those abnormalities seen in chronic lung disease. But most strikingly, this slide, if you look at the rightmost, the 18 milligram per mil nicotine, you'll see that the airways have much bigger spaces. So there's loss of, of lung tissue, and these are the bigger airway spaces are characteristic findings of emphysema. So in these mice that got e-cigarettes with nicotine, but not the same e-cigarette without nicotine, showed emphysema changes. And, and, and this is why I think it was very important to get data from Sweden, for example, to say, is there any evidence at all that, th that this might be the case in humans? So to wrap up, I apologize for going long. Nicotine can potentially have effects on every organ system in the body. Um, addiction is expected with regular use of nicotine, but its health consequences are determined primarily by the delivery system, cigarettes being the worst. Nicotine is much less hazardous to cardiovascular health than smoking, but may contribute to acute cardiovascular events, particularly in the presence of cardiovascular disease. Nicotine is a reproductive hazard and should be avoided during pregnancy, except when it's used for smoking cessation. And, and I want to make that clear. I'm not against anything to get people to quit smoking. Hello, greetings to all. Uh, should be good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good very late evening, maybe. Uh, looks like I might be the only one, but that's okay. Go, deo ro kan sak nit nung na krab chung ni ka. It will be Thai session from now on, about an hour or so. Hopefully, I can cut in some English version, but uh, mainly this will be to explain to Thai people who had listened and tuned in for all the uh, all those times. Ah, จะกลับเข้ามาสู่ภาษาไทยเดี๋ยวจะมีการถ้ามีคนไทยมาช่วยคอมเมนต์มานิดหนึ่งครับว่า from Thailand ก็ได้ก็จะได้รู้แล้วเดี๋ยวจะเอาสไลด์เมื่อวานของ Clive Bates นะมา he did a really great slide yesterday. Uh, good morning from Austria. Austria, Austria, right? It's uh, 3 p.m. here in Thailand, and uh, the time varies, but we stick to uh, Hong Kong time, which is 4 p.m. Uh, long study there to drown the. And how can I follow up such a great uh, session earlier? Of course, that was uh, taped from the GFN, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, just to give you a heads up on uh, situation in Thailand lately, I want you. Uh, I want to compare the, the penalties, you know, for for heroin compared to vaporizers, right? Uh, for heroin, the penalty of manufacturing, importing, or exporting is lifetime imprisonment and a fine of one to five million baht. Uh, for cocaine, the imprisonment is for one to ten years. The fine is a hundred thousand to one million baht. And uh, oh, the opium. Of course, right now, Mariona, back then, the imprisonment is 2 to 15 years. Uh, Mariona and opium and uh, fine is 200,000 to 1.5 million. While vaporizers for manufacturing import and uh, export, the imprisonment is maximum of 10 years. That's, that means... You know, vaporizers, the, the, the fine for uh, importing, exporting, and manufacturing of vaporizers is the same as opium and cocaine. And the uh, fine is about one million or both, which means, uh, oh, that which means, which mean it's what? It's, oh man. Here in Thailand, uh, Tuesday we wear pink. <laughs> I love I love matchy matchy clothing and all all my uh, 
gears and equipments will, if possible, have to be matchy matchy as well. <laughs> And while the the penalties for possession or for using, um, it's really for for vaporizers. It's really in a gray area because, of course, if you possess any products that had not paid the import tax the imprisonment is a uh, maximum of five years or the fine is four times the value of such item, such product. Yeah, exactly. You know, like helping smokers quit will get you 10 years in jail, which is really, ugh. That, that's what we have to live with uh, in Thailand, you know. So, you know, that, that's a situation. But uh, just to keep keep a heads up, there's a new. Will will it will be effective this December? A, a new laws on drugs, on narcotic drugs. Mm, I'm still not sure. I haven't read uh, in details yet that vaporizers will be count as uh, uh, drugs, you know, like uh, narcotic drugs or not, but hmm. yeah, and, and you people here, <laughs> Canada has lost its mind. No, our country has lost its mind way before that. Hmm. <laughs> Even where pink men wear someone. It's, it's, uh, this, this is a, a, a shirt for uh, university that I used to teach at design at the Chulalongkorn University. All right, so I'm gonna switch into Thai and maybe some Thai people will catch this later. Uh, let's see if I can share the screen and we'll try to explain. Mm. อันนี้ก็คือเมื่อเช้านะครับก็มีคลายเบสซึ่งเอางานขององานเวปิ้งแอนด์ทูแบกโกฮามรีดักชันจากเมื่อวันที่10กุมภาพันธ์เมื่อต้นปีนี้ขึ้นมาก็มีการเปรียบเทียบต่างๆนะว่าเนี่ยปีหนึ่งเนี่ยเฉพาะการสูบบุหรี่เนี่ยได้ฆ่าชีวิตคนไป 96,000 คนซึ่งอันนั้นมากกว่าความอ้วนมากกว่าเหล้ามากกว่าอุบัติเหตุทางท้องถนนกับการใช้ยาเสพติดแล้วรวมไปจนถึงกับการเป็นเป็นโรคเอดเอามารวมกันแล้วเนี่ยสูบบุหรี่ก็ยังฆ่าชีวิตคนมากกว่าแล้วก็ทําตารางต่างๆเทียบมาให้แต่ว่าผมจะคุยเฉพาะในเรื่องที่เกี่ยวกับบ้านเราก็แล้วกันนะฮะอันนี้ก็คือเป็นเป็นเรื่องของชุมชนคล้ายๆกับชุมชนที่แบบคล้ายๆกับสลัมแต่เขาจะมาพูดถึงว่าเรื่องของเอ่อเทียบอัตราคนสูบบุหรี่นะครับว่าเอ่อส่วนใหญ่แล้วคนที่สูบบุหรี่เนี่ยจะไม่มีงานทํามากกว่านะอันนี้แล้วก็ระดับสถานะทางสังคมนะถ้าเผื่อระดับใช้แรงงานก็จะมากกว่าระดับบริหารการศึกษาคนมีการศึกษาสูงก็จะสูบบุหรี่น้อยกว่าคนการคนไม่คนด้อยการศึกษาใช้คําอย่างนั้นละกันแล้วเรื่องของโอ้อันนี้ที่น่ากลัวก็คือเรื่องของผู้ที่ป่วยทางด้านจิตนะขึ้นไปสูงเลยแล้วก็มันก็จะไปใช้เนี่ยมันก็จะโยงไปจนถึงเรื่องของความเครียดแล้วก็นี่มีมีไปจนถึงผู้ไร้บ้านแล้วก็เรื่องของในคุกด้วยนะอันนี้ก็จะมีเรื่องของบัตเจตต่างๆประโยคหนึ่งที่เด็ดมากๆก็คือว่าคนเราอะ่ะคนที่สูบบุหรี่อะ่ะสูบเพราะนี้สูบเพราะนิโคตินแต่ว่าที่เสียชีวิตอ่ะเสียชีวิตเพราะทาหรือน้ํามันดินแล้วก็จะแยกอันนี้ก็คือกลุ่มที่เป็นเขาเรียกว่า harm reduction ก็ reduce risk คือมีความเสี่ยงน้อยกว่าอันพวกนี้ก็จะเป็นกระจายให้ไอให้ฝอยให้ไอน้ําอันนี้เป็นนิโคตินบนซ้ายเนี่ยก็คือบุหรี่ไฟฟ้าที่เราคุ้นเคยรวมไปจนถึงเป็นบาลากูด้วยอันนี้ก็เป็นรุ่นแรกเลยบนซิกไลท์นะถัดมาเรื่อยๆปรับมาเรื่อยๆบนขวานี่ก็จะเป็นพวกคีนนอตเบิร์นก
็มีหลายยี่ห้อเหมือนกันทางซ้ายเมื่อกี้เป็นบารากูไฟฟ้านะครับมาอันนี้เป็นใบบารากูแบบว่าใช้ฐานนอกจากนั้นก็มีพวกที่หมอเขานิยมอันนี้หมอหมอหมอสั่งใจอ๋อไม่ใช่สิตัวนี้เป็นอันฮีเตอร์นะฮะก็คือเป็นพวกที่เคี้ยวใส่ปากเคี้ยวอมต่างๆแล้วก็เป็นแบบไร้ควันนะเป็นยาสูตรแบบไร้ควันทีนี้ก็มีของอรายงานประจำปีก็ไล่ขึ้นมาแล้วก็มีเรื่องของความคิดในเรื่องของสนุสพวกนี้ทางสวีเดนเนี่ยทำให้เห็นเลยว่าสวีเดนเนี่ยมีผู้ที่สูบบุหรี่เนี่ยน้อยมากๆเห็นไหมยอดเนี่ยเป็นสีแดงคือนิดเดียวเลยอันนี้ก็คือระบบกลไกของอสาธารณสุขอันนี้ก็เรื่องของจำนวนผู้สูบบุหรี่กับเมื่อเปรียบเทียบกับจำนวนผู้ใช้บุหรี่ไฟฟ้าก็จะมีล้ำกันอยู่นิดนึงก็คือทั้งสูบบุหรี่และบุหรี่ไฟฟ้าด้วย8คนสูบบุหรี่8ล้านคนใช้บุหรี่ไฟฟ้าอยู่ที่3ล้านจริงๆก็เกือบจะไม่ต่างกับประเทศไทยนะประเทศไทยเรามีคนสูบบุหรี่อยู่ประมาณ11 10จุดกว่าล้านคนแล้วก็แต่เวเปอร์เนี่ยเราคำนวณไม่ได้คนชาวไอ้น้ำเนี่ยเราไม่รู้จริงๆว่าเรากี่คนนะแล้วก็มีการตัดคือเป็นอะไรที่แบบว่าคลายฟ์จะทำมาได้ชัดเจนดีให้เห็นชัดเลยนะฮะแล้วจะเห็นเลยว่าความเสี่ยงมันน้อยมากๆเลยภัยต่างๆเนี่ยฮะเขาบอกว่าอาร์ซีพก็คือราชวิทยาลัยอายุรแพทย์ก็บอกว่าถึงแม้ว่ามันจะไม่สามารถจะบอกระยะยาวได้แต่ก็ยังไงก็คือห้าไม่เกินห้าเปอร์เซ็นตนะเมื่อเทียบระดับอันตรายกับบุหรี่ที่มีการสันดาปก็จะมีตารางต่างๆขึ้นมาให้ชมอันนี้ที่เขาบอกว่าอันมันไม่ใช่นะก็คือเราโหเราเห็นอันนี้คือแบบเอามาขู่ให้กลัวกันมากๆเลยแต่ปรากฏว่าพิสูจน์ออกมาแล้วก็คือเป็นกลุ่มพวกนี้เลยฮะมียี่ห้อเลยแดงอะพูดก็ได้นะเพราะว่าเอาสารน้ํามันกัญชาสารสกัดกัญชาเนี่ยแล้วมาผสมกับวิตามินอีเอซิเทตมันก็เลยก่อให้เกิดอีวาลีและจะดูพีคตรงนี้เลยก็คือจากเริ่มพอมันเริ่มได้รับการนิยมก็จะพุ่งพุ่งพุ่งพุ่งแล้วก็พอจับได้ว่ามีใครก็ค่อยๆลดลดลดลดลดแล้วก็หายไปในที่สุดมันก็อยู่แค่นี้เลยจริงๆแล้วมันจะอยู่ในบริเวณที่มีคนใช้กัญชาเยอะที่แบบถูกกฎหมายด้วยนะก็มีพวกสถิติต่างๆขึ้นมาเยอะแยะเลยว่างๆเดี๋ยวจะมาคุยรายละเอียดให้ฟังในช่องของเราเองกันละกันอันนี้ก็แบบหยาบๆเลยก็คือ harm reduction ก็คือลดแต่ว่าจะต้องเอามาคำนวณด้วยว่ามันมีคนที่เปลี่ยนไปแล้วเนี่ยกี่คนแล้วก็เรื่องของค่าต่างๆนะฮะระบบกลไกของสาธารณสุขเนี่ยก็คือคุณค่าเนี่ยมันจะมาจากราคาการโปรโมทสถานที่วางตัวผลิตภัณฑ์การวางตำแหน่งผู้คนแล้วก็บรรจุภัณฑ์ซึ่งมันควรจะเป็นอย่างฝั่งซ้ายขวาอย่างนี้คือถ้าเป็นการคุมยาสูบก,ก็คือต้องห้ามหมดเลยราคาต้องให้สูงต้องไม่มีการโปรโมทตรงกันข้ามกับถ้าเผื่อเป็นอะไรที่มันปลอดภัยกว่ามันก็จะวนแบบนี้แต่กลับกลายเป็นว่าเวปปิ้งอ่ะมันปลอดภัยกว่าตั้งแต่เยอะแต่แบบโอ้โหจะดันราคาให้แพงห้ามโปรโมทห้ามให้มีเห็นที่อุปกรณ์จะต้องมีแบบติดคําเตือนอะไรต่ออะไรไม่รู้เยอะแยะไปหมดมันไม่น่าจะได้ผลนะฮะก็แกก็จะไล่มาให้ฟังเรื่อยๆเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยมันก็เลยจะก่อให้เกิดอันตรายมากกว่าเนี่ยป้ายอย่างเงี้ยคนที่เป็นเวเปอร์เราจะเห็นอยู่ตลอดเลยแล้วก็เหตุผลว่าทำไมคนที่สูบบุหรี่ถึงไม่หันไปใช้บุหรี่ไฟฟ้าก็สิบหกเปอร์เซ็นบอกว่าไม่อยากเปลี่ยนไปติดอย่างอื่นแทนสิบสองเปอร์เซ็นบอกว่าก็ฉันไม่ได้ติดบุหรี่นี่ก็เลยไม่จาเป็นที่จะต้องแบบมีอะไรมาช่วยให้ต้องมาเลิกเลิกทำไมกับฉันไม่ได้ติดสิบกว่าเปอร์เซ็นต์อยู่ที่สิบเอ็ดเปอร์เซ็นต์บอกว่ายังรู้ไม่พอถัดมาก็คือประมาณเก้าเปอร์เซ็นต์บอกว่าก็ยังไม่อยากเลิกสูบบุหรี่แปดเปอร์เซ็นต์เท่าเท่ากันเลยเก้าเปอร์เซ็นต์บอกว่าไม่คิดว่าจะช่วยให้เลิกได้หรือว่ายังเป็นห่วงที่แบบว่าเออมันมันปลอดภัยจริงหรือเปล่าหรือว่ายังไม่ได้ลองอยู่ที่ 8% ราคาแพงไปอยู่ที่ 8% อื่นๆอยู่ที่ 7% นะฮะ
จากนั้นก็คือแบบโอ้ยอายที่จะไปใช้ในที่สาธารณะไม่ชอบรูปล่างมีเยอะเกินไปโอ้ยเยอะเกินไปนี่จริงเลยนะแล้วก็หรือว่าใช้อย่างอื่นแล้วก็หาซื้อได้ยากน้อยที่สุดนะเพราะฉะนั้นไอ้เรื่องที่บอกว่าเออไม่อยากจะเปลี่ยนการติดอย่างหนึ่งไปอีกอย่างหนึ่งเนี่ยเป็นเรื่องที่หมอเขาออกมาพูดเหมือนกันก็กลายเป็นว่าคุณเปลี่ยนจากติดอย่างหนึ่งไปติดอย่างหนึ่งแต่ผมอยากจะบอกว่าเสริมอันนี้เสริมก็แล้วกันว่าเฮ้ยก็การที่ติดอย่างหนึ่งไปเปลี่ยนเป็นอีกอย่างหนึ่งแต่ไอ้สิ่งที่ติดอ่ะที่เปลี่ยนไปมันปลอดภัยกว่ามันก็น่าสนใจใช่ไหมนะฮะเนี่ยมันก็คือ uh, reduce smokers willingness to use แล้วก็ likelihood to uh, purchase ใช่ไหมฮะแต่ว่ามัน 95% safer มันปลอดภัยกว่าการสูบบุหรี่ 95% แล้วก็ไม่มีอะไรที่ปลอดภัย 100% completely safe not even water นะฮะนั่นก็คืออันเนี้ยถ้าใช้เธอพูดถึงว่า 4.1 ล้านคนที่บอกว่าเด็กนักเรียนใช้แต่มันคือของเก่านะจริงๆแล้วมันดรอปลงมาเรื่อยๆนะแต่ว่าการที่พอลงอย่างนี้ปุ๊บเนี่ยคนก็จะเห็นว่าโอ้ยเด็กใช้ตั้ง 27.5% ของเด็กเวฟแต่ไม่ได้ดูว่าเออมันเป็นที่ใช้ประจำหรือว่าที่แค่เคยใช้นิดเดียวหยิบมาครั้งเดียวสถิติมันก็จะแย้งกันอยู่นะก็ต้องแยกคือจริงๆมันต้องแยกเรื่องของสถิติว่ามันเป็น ever use หรือ frequent use แล้วก็มาห้ามเรื่องของกลิ่นรสผลไม้อันนี้ก็ยังไม่ค่อยเกี่ยวกับประเทศไทยเพราะประเทศประเทศไทยเราห้ามหมดเลยมีอะไรก็คือห้ามหมดเลยแล้วก็เลยผลก็คือออกมาเป็นอย่างเงี้ยนะฮะแล้วก็มีการแยกอันนี้ก็คือแยกเป็นประเภทของ heat not burn มาให้มาให้ดูเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยไอ้บทสรุปก็คือว่าจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยการสูบบุหรี่ก็ยังเป็นปัญหาใหญ่แม้กระทั่งตอนเนี้มีทางเลือกที่มีความเสี่ยงมีอันตรายน้อยกว่าแล้วก็มีจริงๆมันมีหลักฐานชัดอยู่แล้วหลักฐานที่ดีพอว่ามันลดความเสี่ยงได้มีหลักฐานในเรื่องของผลกระทบต่อปวงชนต่อประชาชนโดยรวมนะเป็นมหาภาคเนี่ยแล้วก็เรื่องของตลาดนิโคตินในระยะยาวเรื่องของการควบคุมโดยยึดปัจจัยของความเสี่ยงอะไรที่มันอันตรายกว่าอาจจะต้องควบคุมหนักกว่าแล้วก็เป็นเรื่องใหม่ในเรื่องของสงครามเกี่ยวกับยาเสพติดฮู้ that was a fly through in Thai for a Thai version And now I have like 42 minutes to rave and rant. So I guess I, uh, for those of you who are listening and tuning in, you know, if there's anything uh, I can give you clarification about the situation in Thailand, you uh, you can you can ask. P please feel free to ask. I don't know what happened to my. It's a weird time in Thailand right now, and especially the timing. Uh, it's it's my bad. I pick up uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So uh, many people, most most of the people uh, right now are working or getting off work or getting ready to finish. You know, packing up and and getting done for their work. Yeah, but uh, the 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 stats are from uh, the first day of of class. But I really. I know that. Uh, well, we have to admit Thai people. Uh, many, most Thai people are very not not English literate. Uh, they most of them can listen, can read, can understand. You know, and uh, but uh, to communicate because it's a weird way of uh, education system to speak. You know, people. Like us, uh, the the first language we listen first, right? We right right after the baby was born, we listen to the mom, the dad, and and then try to speak or imitate the sound, and then finally, you know, when they go to school, then they study about grammar, you know, to make sure when you speak is grammatically correct. But in Thailand, they want to teach grammar. Well, actually, they teach A B C first. How to how to write. So written comes first. Written, and the conversation comes last. 
grammar, vocabulary, and we have to think of the the the, the tenses. <laughs> English in Thailand we don't have tense. Uh, the past perfect, present, future, continuous. Which I don't know. People don't really use them. Oh, talk about Bloomberg. It's a very difficult situation. We don't have any uh, real evidence yet, but there are people, you know, with the same mind as uh, Bloomberg, and also with the same who who had Bloomberg and Stanton, Stanton plants as a hero and try to do exactly the same thing, and uh, so they think that to fight to completely uh, fight smoking they are fighting tobacco wars and right now it became a nicotine war so it's really i don't know and and they don't want to accept i had mentioned at the panel discussion with kefra this morning with Sri and uh and nancy and ilana that uh the war had turned and i don't understand why they want to uh, fight safer alternatives instead of embracing it maybe it's their ego and like nancy said it's you know it's it's that big money and uh, also probably fighting for their future because you know right now they're in something that they don't really understand but they know for sure that you know this is something that will take away their incomes uh, East Asia and Middle South America is where the CTFK Union and who have done a great... Yeah, the LMICs, you know, if you see like a lot of uh, FCCCs and whose agenda and uh, all the philanthropists, they probably think LMICs are easier victims and uh, easier to manipulate because uh, uh, this, the, our countries have to depend on their fundings and uh, personally I had been uh, condemned really yeah the word is condemned and I had to they said that since I, 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 I should not sit with the subcommittee at the parliament because I work for big tobacco because I work for uh, because I'm under their salaries and they try to tie listen to this tide uh, um i have a picture somewhere but uh they said since pmi is funding kac kac donated some funding to inco and since i was uh I was with the board of uh, uh, governing board. I, I was was one of the governing board of Inco. So that means I work and I'm under salary and I work for Big Tobacco. Uh, in this case, uh, Philip Morris International. Well, you know, like uh, of of course, and I I will say this for all the governing boards and plus Kefra plus all our the advocacies uh, organizations, I never receive a single cent, a single penny, a single dime from PMI or even from Inco itself. Uh, they also said that you know, like when when I go to give a speech at TFN. I got some money, I got some income. And uh, it's like, you know, when you go to a meeting for a, like a board meeting of a certain organizations, you get like a compensation. I don't get it. We don't get it. Of course, we get uh, compensated for some, some, only some of our travel expenses and accommodations, but only some and part of uh, the, since I was a speaker, the host at GFN exempted me. I don't have to pay for the entrance fee, the registration fee, but that's it. I have to pay quite a lot to cover the rest of the uh, the accommodations and the travel expenses. It's not that they're paying me, you know, this is what I do. I, I, I'm passionate about doing it. 
and uh, seems like these people they don't have the concept of doing something just for just because we love it just for our passion you know these 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 people they think that if they they are doing something then there must be some benefits some big money involved we that, that that's not how we work uh yeah yeah pat we are being destroyed from the inside out it's yeah it's it's worldwide yeah I, I, yeah I, but but uh it's getting harder for L, lmics and uh you know getting blamed for something that we love and we are passionate about and uh i don't know maybe i have to talk to some lawyer say if we can see it it this is not the first time you know it happened many times already uh but you know, we decided, hey, we're going to play it clean. You know, like yesterday that we discussed about corruption and whatnot and said, okay, we're going to play it clean. But this is, we, we're not being corrupted and and uh, we're not playing into any corruption games. But uh, maybe we can't play like uh, be, being a naive, doing nothing, just play, you know, play it simply pure white i might have to go to uh bring this case to court because the person who want to destroy us you know right now he just hide in some i don't know cave of his and uh he asked other people to come out and the last one that came out just directly said that you know i work i should not be uh, with the committees and said that uh, uh, the person who presides over the committee, the, the, the director, was wrong. And one thing, though, I really want to mention that uh, I'm a Thai citizen, so I obey Thai law. And WHO, FCTC, or UN, they can only suggest the Thai law is above all, and I, I, I haven't broken any laws at all. I always abide by my laws, you know, so I don't, it's illegal to import, to manufacture, to distribute, so I don't import, I don't make my own self, I don't distribute, I don't sell. I really want to, you know, I want to give some, some of this to my friends, but Seems like sometimes, like, would they call it distribution? Just to, to give freely as example. I know it's a gray area. What I'm doing is a promotion. By just, just, you know, like, if you want to be exact by wording, then saying vaping is safer than smoking is, I, I had, I, that's already illegal. I had already broken the law, but if that's a law, I'm, you know, I'm willing to break just to get people to be, uh, to have a healthier lives. Yeah. So, and like I said, you know, they are using other people. And so, you know, the it's like, uh, you know, the, the game where you whisper down the line the first one will say something and by the fifth or the tenth or the twentieth person the whole sentence is something else already so you know this for this person just saying maybe he says something and the second one person turned into something and then this person just came out and say i work for uh philip morris international and i'm under their uh, their payment so i say like uh, excuse me, you know, actually, we should be enemy. I used to smoke, like I I, I have said uh, many times, I smoked for 38 years and I smoked only one brand. So right now that I quit smoking, they lose a available customer. I have their caps, their shirts, or I probably wear their products, uh, displacement on a lot of, uh, on, on a lot of myself. 
Yeah, Mallory said you don't work for BT. Uh, exactly. Not only we are not making a scent of vaping advocacy, we do because we can exactly and, and we want to and we are losing money. Well, actually, we, we are spending out of our own pocket. It's what we call like uh, what we have. Uh, we, we are passionate about. It's our hobby, you know. House <laughs> is falling down around. Oh yeah, after after a lot of retraction, Stanton still, you know, like uh, he. I think the case is still in ongoing, right? And uh, so it's really, uh, I don't know. And and last that he did with Ron Rudy, uh, we tried to get him retracted because this is funny. The heading says that uh, victory. I have to. I I have to say this because it's, this concerns me personally. They said the heading said victory of tobacco control over tobacco industry or something along that line. But the whole paper was trying to to link from PMI to me to ECST then to me saying something like that i mentioned before you know saying that since uh, i i'm since i was with the uh, governing board of inco and inco received some fundings from kac kac uh, partially received some funding from pmi then that means i work for big tobacco and in the end with like a single line saying but all of this there are no nothing to prove that I have any ties to PMI. <laughs> At the end, say like, no, there's no, uh, there's no evidence tying Asasa Likupta ECST to PMI. Say like, so what's the point of doing all this uh, paper when the end you admit yourself and so we try to get the, the editor to retract and and just erase it but they wouldn't they just change a few wordings and and we're not satisfied you know uh, professor simpson uh, had tried many times to get uh, this piece of paper because it it will be it i mean i think this is our loss but if we can get them to retract i can use to say hey you know what you are saying in thailand all these times what Finally, you have retact, so you know you have no. I mean, how how can you say you are specialist in this field when you know you're so biased? And talk about specialists. Uh, two weeks ago at the at the parliament meeting, one of the doctor. Oh, I love him so dear. He said that forget all the specialists. I mean, we are listening to specialists long enough and in Thailand, about two years ago, there was a big arrest and there was this specialist coming out and say, listen to this, uh, I want you all to, to pay careful attention to this. They said, they, they pick up a bottle of uh, e-liquid about this size. Yeah, about this size. About this size. And they look at it and say like, you know that this bottle contains uh this bottle contain 80 th this is nick 80 it's very dangerous 80 80 percent no they said 80 percent of nicotine not nick 80 a free base bottle they said contain 80 percent of nicotine and then he look and then, and then he turn around that same specialist pick up a mod uh probably without an atomizer pick up a mod and and try to turn it on and finally he turned to the person next to him say how do you turn this thing on and that's a specialist for you so back to 80 milligrams that's 800 uh, i mean 80%, that's, that's Nick 800. I mean, who in the world had a, a, a e-liquid that is 
80 percent nicotine. I mean, come to think of it, I mean, it doesn't make sense, right? Even even if you are not a specialist. And uh, this morning, where we play our uh, was it GFN five? Yeah, it is a GFN five clips. Uh, one of the debate that we went, uh, we were invited, you know, me and my friend were invited a few times to major medias. And one of the medias, this uh, certain doctor called in, uh, he wouldn't come. He would, he, he, every time there's a debate, there will be something, you know, he turned off his, one of them turned off their phones. Uh, most of the time they just ignored altogether. And they said, you know, they cannot deal with this this kind of people. And uh, one time they talked about he he talked about uh, nicotine in a rat. So one of the question, of course, that we asked was that what's the strength of the nicotine that you uh, gave to the rat? I mean, he probably dropped some drop of nicotine, probably pure nicotine into the rat. And of course, it's going to bring a lot of effect. You know what he said? He said, you don't need to know. It's none of your business. That That's the answer from the doctor, at a big uh, tobacco controller in Thailand. Say, you don't need to know. It's none of your business. Of course, it's our business. We need to know because we are the consumer of nicotine. We should know, right? You should tell us what is the maximum strength that we can uh, intake into our body that that we can uh, consume it is insane that that would be 800 milligram per 100 milliliters it is i mean it's <laughs> you don't see it i mean you know i personally i wear a nick three milligram nicotine that's 0.3 percent maximum is six Never go above that. Usually, when I started vaping about ten years ago, I I vape like uh, twenty four milligrams. That maximum twenty four, but that was I vape like one point eight two ohms. You remember all those, you know, at the beginning, before the VV Nova, before the Just Fork times, you know, with with the silica wicks, short silica wicks with uh, that's very high ohm and 24 nicks and then I drop, 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 drop. So that's one of the things we can do, you know, we can lower our intake of addictive substances. Right now it's it's up to three milligram and some some of the bottles here are even zero nick. Just it's a it's a pleasure, you know, it's what we are doing. Ah. 250 mg that that really that, that's a, is that a pure nicotine zero vapor zero consumers nine from Sietka, 11 from campaign tobacco 36 yeah oh you mean the the accredited observers at cop zero vapors we are stakeholder, right? Zero consumers. Hmm. Nine from Sitka. Sitka is the organization based in Bangkok. Uh, Eleven from Campaign for Tobacco Tobacco Free Kids, which we know funding whose funding is from. Thirty six from the Union. Sixty six from Framework Convention Alliances. Those are accredited observers at at FCTC COP. Uh oh. <laughs> to be expected. But uh the COP9 is all it's all online, right? So observer, you know, I I I uh I shouldn't say it right here. <laughs> Robot side. What I mean really what what maybe you know as Nancy mentioned this morning. Since they said that there's nothing is going to be decided and everything is going to be postponed until COP10, maybe one of the fears uh, that uh, they could be hacked. Hmm. We have any hackers around here? 
<laughs> exactly, Eliana. It's oh, it's like, like uh, everything about us without us. That's their mindset. You know, they think that they are all high and mighty, and you know they can work for us. And uh, oh, thousand, thousand mg mg is pionic, but they are diluted kind also, right? I mean, I'm not condoning. I'm not saying that you should go and get it, but uh, they are also also like the diluted kind that for for shots, you know, for for uh, I've seen in in Europe and also in Japan and in Australia. Those are not thousand mg mg, right? It's hundred thousand, was it? Marie said when the, when you mix, you it use use a thousand ml, hundred mg. Yeah, that that's that's. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, six 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 mg. So use six ml. So it's been diluted down. But, you know, like the doctor who comes out and say, I don't think he knows really, you know, he just like, okay, I read that they do a research on a rat and the rat suffer because of nicotine. So he just like, oh yeah, you know what? There's a nicotine, you know, nicotine have a great effect on rat and rat is similar to people. So, uh, okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to say that, okay, just a few drops of nicotine and the rats went crazy. So we, we, we turn around and we ask like, so what's the strength? He probably like, what do you mean strength? Are there strength? Nicotine is nicotine. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? I, of course, I know I'm a doctor. And this is something that that uh, we should get rid of real soon. We should uh, educate people because like in LMICs, especially, believe me, I'm a doctor is a big word. It is. And with that word, you know, personally, this is, has nothing to do with vaping or advocacy. With the word, believe me, I'm a specialist, I'm a doctor. I almost lose my granddaughter. They said that there is something wrong with my granddaughter and uh, my daughter should uh, get an abortion. And we insisted that no, we're gonna do it naturally. The uh, ah God, the the screen, you know where where <laughs> take a picture. Ah, what's the word? The the, the ultrasound came out. The sonogram, yeah, <laughs> not ultrasound. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Came out perfect. You know, she was moving, smile. We see all the uh, facial features and everything. I say, like, so what is wrong? So, you know, he said, like, there are percentage, a low percentage chances that, the, you know, the brain. And I really want to show you the picture of, of my granddaughter. She's so lovely. I mean, if we adhere to the word that, hey, I'm a doctor, I'm a specialist, believe me and we believe and my daughter had to go through all the pain and labor and and pregnancy and everything again then you know so i mean not as a doctor you are not always right the two er is human the, uh, the incompetence is oh man <sighs> all funded by bloomberg directly or they definitely definitely yeah all those people Oh, this is uh, and and think about it. If 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 uh, I mean, if we believe that that doctor, then you know, I wouldn't be holding a, a great, a, a not a great granddaughter, the cutest granddaughter. She's so cute, you know. So I mean, even it's kinda kind of similar to what we are doing so you know what i really want to say is that you know it's not that if you are a doctor and there are doctors that did some uh, stupid and and 
and fake researchers and try to fool people. <laughs> Spock. Yeah. Live long and prosper. <laughs> I mean, even, even, you know, we as a patient, we are allowed to second opinion, right? I mean, for, for, for doctors, but all of a sudden on uh, tobacco control, which, you know, all, all this, this doctor, they said they, they work for the uh, Ministry of Public Health, which means their main concern should be the health of the public. But no, no, they're, they're not. So it's it's really, you know, we, we, we still have a long time to go a long way. Uh, in many countries, congratulations, like uh, even in uh, Malaysia, congratulations uh, uh, congratulations to Malaysia since you know Malaysia have a sensible MOH, you know Ministry of Health. Uh, hopefully, Thailand will follow one day. But uh, it's getting there here in Thailand, though. And I really feel that you know it's it's really getting there somehow. To your finger. Ah. Right now, it, it's. I wish I could invite all of you to come out and join this session. <laughs> we just sit, chilling afternoon. Actually, no, it's it's getting close to my afternoon tea time. I'm still like, uh, sometimes, ah. That's my granddaughter and that's my mother who's bless her she's 90 years old now well anyone who wants to join me right now you know i have 15 minutes bring him in we just sit and chilling and talking and you know really like i've done for 45 minutes there's really no topic you know, we just want to just chill and hang out. And one thing that I really, really, really enjoy doing this is the company, the companionships, the uh, the friendships that I get. You know, I used to work with, used to, I'm, I'm still a Rotarian and uh, I had position in almost, hey, Paul. <laughs> what just happened? How are you, Arthur? Nothing. Uh, most of my friends, actually, all of uh, people who are who are supposed to be with me, at, uh, he's still stuck. Uh, one, of, two of them are still teaching. Couldn't get out of class. Well, and you know, I'm just that, rambling that, on doing that, how that happens happens in the big jobs. <laughs> it it always happens to you know. People have to work. People have to do things. You know, it's evening here. It's almost 8 p.m. here in Australia. And not a problem. How have you been? Right. Great. And uh, just to give heads up tomorrow again, uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be half day tomorrow. I'll be at the parliament and 3 p.m. Mm. Thai time. So uh, 24, uh, 23 and a half hours from now. I'll come and give you a heads up of uh, the conclusion. It's supposed to be the last session for uh, the taxing of tobacco and electronic cigarettes. Okay. The heading and, and uh, when they say taxing or taxation of tobacco and electronic cigarettes, then that means they have to leave the ban first before you mm. tax anything. You cannot tax anything that is illegal, right? I mean, well, you cannot tax marijuana, cocaine, uh, war, like a machine gun. You cannot tax those because they are illegal, right? So okay, if you want to tax sense. them. 
that actually makes sense and now that our borders are opening up here in australia thailand is actually now on the list thailand fiji new zealand and a few of the pacific nations and before christmas they're saying that now we can travel to thailand again which is quite I heard, interesting i heard because uh my niece my nephew is coming back from he graduated in in uh, australia but he's still stuck there <laughs> uh, but we are looking away for him to return so but it, it will be it will be great for me to visit uh, australia again yeah well you're more than welcome for a beer and we can sit around and eat seafood and eat steak and barbecue and do all kinds of stupid stuff Excellent. introduce you to a few friends that own vape shops here in australia and get there you, uh and you are in which which can't uh, which are you melbourne sydney? no i'm in sydney sydney yeah. Yeah. yeah last time i was in melbourne yeah. and there was there's a wave shop which one called is wave yeah yeah and that's my name are. though but uh -huh. i have an r <laughs> that happens but we see a lot of similarities between australia and thailand with what's happening right now yep it's quite strange do you do you think that there's a correlation between the two governments well one of the thing is uh the thai government always says that always says that hey look at australia uh even with the tobacco oh. say like look look how high the tax of uh, australian cigarettes are let's do it uh plain packaging but what's funny is i, I if if i got this correctly probably was what, earlier this year mm. the uh, government of australia had admitted that uh, the plain packaging and raising the tax so high didn't work yeah, but they won't come out and publicly say that ah uh, uh-huh they will not say that I, I, and i'm sorry to my friends around <laughs> the world you know mm. i might live in australia i don't agree with what the government says in any way shape or form and you know that but our taxation law now is yes the highest on the planet um new zealand's second or third space i think right now um but yeah, Australia, New Zealand, I'm not sure who the third highest tax for combustibles are, but I, I want your take on the prescription model and what we've just done here. It well, is still better than, than completely banned. And uh, I don't agree with the prescription because, you know, like uh, us, even as a smokers, when, when we were smokers, we never admitted that we are patient so why we need sub sub subscriptions and when we Thank go you. to something that is uh, that is safer for our health it's our own choice so why prescription yeah we're we're not patient we're, we're not people we're not sick so why no, why no, and, and, and you leave us in the hand of doctors you know how i feel about doctors <laughs> I, I well look i'm the same for the most part okay but i i really don't understand why they took this model it's <laughs> it's not it's not good put it that way no. we're already seeing cracks and we're one month in and we're oh. seeing cracks it, it's i don't think it's fair i don't think it's justified that mm -hmm. we're now patients we were smokers how how right. all of a sudden have we become from a smoker to a patient if we kept smoking we would have been a patient of the cancer and and, and then if we do something else we are criminals hmm. well apparently i'm a criminal <laughs> oh, yeah yeah <laughs> I get look, I get look all the time, right? As like now that I vape, I'm a criminal. Yeah. Yeah. When I was smoking, they were making money, 
So I wasn't a criminal, but now I'm a criminal because I found a safer way to get away from combustibles. It makes no sense. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, mind blown. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes yeah, no it, sense it, to me it, at all. It's, that That's insane, really. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and saying it doesn't belong <laughs> in the same sentence. Really, Mallory? Oh, I don't know about that one. Um, <laughs> but really being criminal never tasted this good. Mm. Yeah, mine is definitely pastry with a mix of fruit. Oh, Fruity, okay. Fruity well, flavors, definitely. Well, <laughs> what, what's this one? Um, this one's a strawberry rhubarb, vanilla and um, graham cracker. This one. Oh, I is... know exactly what that is. Yeah. That's I... what I call, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I just finished a bottle of that one. Just finished. So exactly I know that or that that is delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks yeah. to Jay. <laughs> Thanks to, thanks to Jay and you know friends around the world that it's very it's very difficult to get that one here in, in Thailand. So yeah, no, oh, the well. bottle is, is gone. Yeah, but I, I see, I, I can see other bottles there that I know very well. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I see, I see a jam monster. Uh huh. Yeah, I know which one that is. I see. That's my favorite. Oh, re really? Yeah, I, I really love Watson. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, you probably recognize this one. Yeah. Subarace. Yep, it's really a good one. Too. Yeah, that's um, flogging out with the Batman. Batman's <laughs> behind. Yeah, Batman's behind that. Big shout out to Batman and all all my friends in that side of the vaping community. But it, it's very very interesting the similarities between our two countries. Yep, we we have a huge Thai population here, and yes, I know how to cook Thai food, and I I love eating it. Right. But we the best. both of, both of us have really good seafood as well. Thailand still got good seafood. Between Australia and Thailand, New Zealand, I think they're the three. Oh, hang on, I can't forget Fiji in that. Fiji has amazing seafood. Oh, Fiji! Never been to Fiji. I gotta try oh. that. You, I've got have... four minutes left, and I want yeah. to just uh, answer one last question: Is the uh, importing for, for tourists right who carries the web gears i think that's one of the question asking what are the law pertaining tourists and vaping uh, in thailand depends on counties yeah. or provinces or areas or cities people yeah, are still get arrested time. and this yeah. is a shame people got arrested and deported because they have like a i don't know something like this very small like pot system on them you know and a french lady got deported just for having a wave that she bought in thailand really yeah i didn't hear and about that she got deported because there was no case wow. so she was sent to prison like a sort of a jail cell for the five nights and then got deported back to france Wow, that was about wow, three, wow. Three, two and a half, three years ago. So I've got to be really careful. Well, if you if you come and you see me, I'll take you to places that I can guarantee you that you won't get arrested. So it's really a weird place, even here in okay. Bangkok. Yeah, I, I've been there many times over the years. I love Bangkok. The food's amazing. The people are very very strange in the different areas of bangkok <laughs> there's, there's different people different places different times but it's fun i had a lot of fun there so all of you are welcome you know give me a shout out or contact me personally if you have a plan to come visit thailand or bangkok and uh, if you are bike riders if you like big bikes yeah. if you are adventure touring contact me i'm all in just yeah I ride electric I'm over 60 bike. years old. I'm retired. This is this is what I do for a living right now. It's my passion. So, 
No, I ride electric bikes now. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've got one downstairs. Also, no, it works. I just okay. need one new one. Thanks. Yeah. No, you're more than uh, welcome. My time is up, and Marewa is coming up. Good. Marewa Clover, she's. You gotta listen to her. I've met I her always, several times. I, I always do. I've met her as well. Yep. yep. I'm I'm one She's of her admirers, woman. so stick around, so don't go anywhere. Kapun Krap Chap from Thailand. And I'll see you again, same bad time, same bad channel tomorrow at four Hong Kong time. Okay. So